Hi everybody, it's me, Gregor Manorino. How are you today? It is Tuesday, September 26, 2017. People, um, we really have to start paying attention to what is happening around us. And I know if you follow this blog, that's exactly what you do. Now, if you know my work, for at least a year and a half, I have been screaming from rooftops, once again, that I had believed that we are at the top of yet another bubble in housing. The mainstream outlets, financial channels have been pushing their narrative, which is, oh, there's just not enough supply out there. Um, and that's the issue with regard uh, to, to housing. Now, that just got thrown out the window with what we just heard from the Commerce Department. New home sales have just fallen for eight consecutive months and here's the kicker supply is rising okay so I'm just wondering how the mainstream is going to try to spin this one here because that's all they've been doing they will not tell you that the issue with housing is just it's become unaffordable to people so th there's, there's the thing that's going on now here in Las Vegas where I live housing prices are absolutely coming down and this is also a nationwide phenomenon that is occurring so people need to understand what is going on here um, and I have no doubt that we are in a lot of trouble moving forward here people's salaries are not going up uh, have you seen honestly I'd love to hear from you what's going on here with regard to the price of groceries uh, I went shopping recently and I just couldn't believe it. I was like, are you kidding me? What, what, what's happening here? Now understand, this is the dollar getting weaker with regard to prices of everything that seems to be going higher. People, they, they can't get that. Oh, everything is rising in price. No, it's not that they're rising in price. The dollar is falling in value. It's losing its purchasing power. Every day this happens, you get poorer in reality and you're working for less purchasing power. This is going to continue moving forward, there's no doubt about it. But let me get back on track here with regard to housing. So we are seeing existing home sales fall off of a cliff. We are seeing inventory rise. Now this phenomenon is going to get much, much worse moving forward. Now let me explain to you why. This is something else that the mainstream will not tell you, all right? I went over this before, but I think it's worth covering again, just real quick. At the bottom of the bubble last time, hedge funds came in and bought miles, square miles of, of new homes that were being built at that time at the bottom, and they're still holding these things. Now, once housing starts to fall, like we're seeing now, you're going to start to see inventory rise like it is. Okay, because these hedge funds are going to start dumping those properties. What is that going to do? Simple supply and demand tells you what that will do to the prices of uh, homes. Not just that. We also understand that the Fed is promising to raise rates moving forward. Just think about this. We, we've been at artificially suppressed, historically low rates, interest rates now for the better part of a decade. And we're seeing this action with housing. What's going to happen? when rates normalize. Do you see where I'm going with this? I mean, you've got to be deaf, dumb, and blind not to actually see what's going on here and how this has the potential to play out. So, anyway, I really want you to focus on the fact. And this is a fact now. This is not speculation. Uh, housing is in, a, is in a bubble and it's starting to crack. Think about how that may affect you moving forward here. Uh, if you're even toying with the idea of selling your home, uh, look, I'm not giving out any advice here, but I would seriously consider uh, getting it on the market as soon as humanly possible uh, because this is not going to get better, people. We're going to see inventories rise. We're going to continue to see this trend of housing prices falling, and we could get a point, hit a point where it drops precipitously and very, very rapidly especially if there's a problem that that's going to happen here in the bond market, which it is going to happen. I mean, don't listen to Greg Manorino anymore. Listen, listen to Alan Greenspan, former Fed uh, president over there, 
uh, chairperson, he's saying, you know, debt market's in a bubble. So if that's a fact, and we all we know that bubbles burst, every single one of them, without exception, throughout history, despite being uh, artificially suppressed here at rates for the better part of a decade, it's not, it's not, there's going to be a point of correction, and that's going to put a huge amount of pressure on housing. So if you're looking to buy a house, you need to sit back. You need to sit back and wait uh, at this point here. Uh, if you if you have a house to sell, uh, this again no advice here, but I'm suggesting you think about getting it on the market uh, and and now. All right. With that said, um, I'm going to let you all go. I want you to ponder these things. And again, think about the lies, the propagation of garbage that is being uh, fist fed to everyone from the mainstream financial channels, the mainstream outlets talking about housing. I really want to hear how they're going to spin this one here because now inventories are going up, but home sales are coming down. So uh, again, it's, it's an affordable housing issue. Real quick before I let you go, and, and this is very simple for all of you, how do we know we're in a bubble? When any asset moves above the ability for the average person to acquire it on an average salary, you have a bubble. It's that simple. Uh, that's how you know things like Bitcoin are not in bubbles here because they can still be acquired by the average person who can buy these infractions. So uh, forget about the Bitcoin bubble. It's a distraction. Housing is the bubble that we need to worry about right now. Debt, the biggest bubble in the history of the world. Stock market's in a bubble too. Does not mean it's, it's not going to go higher. I still think it's going to inflate here until it doesn't. All of these bubbles here, I know I'm rambling on here. I want you to think about this too. Every single bubble that we have is dependent on another bubble. You got it? When one bubble breaks, that's going to break the chain, and you're going to get boom, 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 and correction across the board. Now, all of you who know my work uh, understand that we exi are existing in an environment of extremes, bubbles to the upsides, inverse bubbles, and a big void in the middle. This void in the middle is going to fill. Um, who knows what the trigger is going to be? Uh, I always say watch the bond market. I think that's where the trouble is going to begin. Think about it. It's the, big, it's the biggest bubble of them all. It's also the largest market of them all. So um, it's pretty interesting to ponder all these things, people. Anyway, I hope this has been informative for you. If it has, please let me know. Write me, uh, write me a little, little note here. Share it. Get it out there. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow.